Okay, out to the right here, we have a picture of a graph that depicts the situation. The red curve is the graph of the function x cubed plus 6x squared minus 4x minus 8. There's the point of inflection, negative 2, comma 16. And there's the, the tangent line to the curve at that point. The question is, how do you do that without just drawing a graph? Well, we're going to have to find the first derivative because that'll be a formula for the slope of that tangent line. And we're going to have to find the second derivative in order to find the point or points of inflection. Now, a point of inflection will happen where the second derivative is equal to zero. And that happens when x equals minus 2. Now, it's possible that it really isn't a point of inflection. Does the concavity change? So we can test numbers on either side of negative 2 and find out what happens to f double prime or y double prime. I'll just leave the f there. Whoops. f. And to the left of negative 2, like if you put a negative 3 into y double prime, you get a negative number. That tells you that the tangent lines are decreasing in slope, which means that the original function is concave downward. And to the right of negative 2, y double prime is positive. That tells you that the tangent lines are increasing in slope, which means that the curve is concave upward to the right of negative 2. So indeed, at negative 2, we have a point of inflection. Well, we have to find y of negative 2 to find out where that point is. And it turns out if you put negative 2 into this original function, you do get a y value of 16. So negative 2, 16, that's the point of inflection. Now, to write the equation of the tangent line at that point, we need to know what the slope is. We've got a point that it passes through. So we want to find y prime of negative 2, which means put negative 2 into the derivative. And that's going to be, well, 4 times 3 is 12. Negative 2 times 12 is negative 24 minus 4. It looks like that's a minus 16. So now we know a point and we know the slope. Use point slope. We've got y minus y sub 1, which is what, 16, equals the slope at that point, negative 16 times the quantity x minus x sub 1. x minus a negative 2 is x plus 2. If you want to put that in slope intercept form, distribute that minus 16. You get a minus 32. You add negative, add 16 to both sides, you get minus 16. So there's the equation of the tangent line at this point of inflection. Okay. Uh, Hope that helped. There you go.